The CATL extended the hand of expansion to the United States on the other side of the ocean. On February 14, 2023, Ford Motor announced that it will jointly build a lithium-ion phosphate battery factory with CATL in Michigan, USA, with a total investment of $3.5 billion. US dollars. In my opinion, this is of great significance to consolidate the global leading position of CATL. According to data from the South Korean market research organization SNE Research, the global installed capacity of power batteries in 2022 was 517.9 GWh, a year-on-year -year increase of 71.8%. Among them, CATL once again won the global power battery market champion, with an installed capacity of 191.6 GWh, a substantial increase of 92.5% year-on-year and a market share of 37%, more than the sum of LG New Energy, BYD, and Panasonic. The top 10 companies are, CATL, LG New Energy, BYD, Panasonic, SKON, Samsung SDI, CALB, Gotion Hitech, Sunwoda, Pharasis Energy. It is gratifying that Chinese companies occupy six seats, with a market share of 60.4%. The data shows that the top 10 power battery companies have a total market share of 91.4%, and the concentration has increased again, which has also intensified competition among power battery companies. With the rapid growth of global new energy vehicles, the power battery industry is booming unprecedentedly. As the heart of new energy vehicles, Power batteries have experienced round after round of market competition and the industrial structure has become more stable, but under the influence of factors such as the epidemic, the Russian-Ukrainian war, rising prices of raw materials, and continuous iteration of new technologies, there has been another new variable. On the one hand, the Matthew effect is weakened. In addition to CATL, the share of other companies is also gradually increasing. Among them, LG New Energy is developing rapidly, especially in the international market expansion, BYD is relying on the explosive growth of its own products, and its status has risen rapidly. On the other hand, the technological secret war has escalated. At this stage, whether it is a ternary lithium battery or a lithium-ion phosphate battery, the technological development has been relatively mature, and it is difficult to achieve a major breakthrough. To change the existing competitive landscape, perhaps the only way left is technological innovation. So, in the face of more intense competition in 2023, what challenges and breakthroughs will power battery companies face? Hi! Welcome to Auto Age, and let's move on to today's topic. From the perspective of the entire power battery industry, the CATL, which has a total market value of over 1 trillion yuan, is still the biggest winner. In the global market, CATL has been the world's largest power battery company for six consecutive years. In the Chinese market, by 2022, its power battery installed capacity was 142.02 GWh, and its market share has reached 48.2%. However, with the influx of capital from various parties and industrial expansion, the game in the industry has intensified again, forming a situation of besieging CATL. The reason why CATL is dominant is that it has the most car companies that choose it as a battery supplier. Tesla has become CATL's largest customer for two consecutive years. In 2022, the market share of Model 3's domestic installed capacity has reached 85% an increase of about 5% from the previous year, and the market share of Model Y's domestic installed capacity also reached 80%. At the beginning of this year, Tesla launched a global dimension reduction price reduction, which will not only stimulate the increase in sales, but also drive the increase in demand for power battery accessories. BYD's rapid growth is due to the high sales of its many explosive models. In 2022, BYD has sold 1.868 million vehicles for the whole year, a substantial increase of 152.46% year-on-year, and won the global sales champion of new energy vehicles. 
Driven by sales, BYD's installed capacity reached 69.10 GWh in 2022, a year-on-year -year increase of nearly 1.7 times. The domestic market share has also increased from 16.83% in 2021 to 23.45%. In the global market, BYD surpassed Panasonic and won the runner-up position together with LG New Energy. In 2023, BYD's sales target is 4 million vehicles. If this target can be successfully achieved, BYD may have an equal share with CATL by then. In short, the dominance of CATL is being challenged, especially in the field of lithium iron phosphate, and BYD has a greater advantage. At present, it has become the general consensus of power battery manufacturers to seize market share through technological innovation. On the one hand, whether it is a car company or a consumer, the requirements for power batteries are increasing. In other words, in order to solve the pain points such as insufficient battery life and long charging time of new energy vehicles, relevant companies, especially power battery companies, need to make bold innovations and continue to promote the advancement of battery technology. On the other hand, with the intensification of competition in the power battery industry, the R&D and innovation of major manufacturers are no longer limited to upgrading the battery system structure and batteries. In recent years, some more cost-effective, creative, and forward-looking technologies have emerged, such as blade batteries, curine batteries, sodium-ion batteries, semi-solid batteries, and more disruptive solid-state batteries. On February 7, CATL once again disclosed to the outside world two killer new battery products, Curine Battery and Sodium Ion Battery on the Investment Interaction Platform. The Secretary of the CATL stated that Curine batteries are expected to be mass-produced in the first quarter of 2023. The company is committed to promoting the industrialization of sodium ion batteries in 2023. In 2023, the technical battle around power batteries will intensify, and semi-solid batteries will show their prominence. In my opinion, from the perspective of sustainable development of the battery industry, semi-solid batteries will dominate until 2030. At present, whether it is a power battery or an electrochemical energy storage battery, it is basically a liquid battery. Driven by the rapid development of new energy vehicles, liquid batteries are constantly iterating, and the products are becoming more and more mature. However, battery life anxiety and safety anxiety have always plagued the entering car companies, battery manufacturers, and consumers, becoming the biggest obstacle to the expansion of the new energy vehicle market. With the emergence of semi-solid batteries, people seem to see the dawn of solving the problem. Theoretically speaking, semi-solid batteries are only an intermediate state between liquid batteries and solid-state batteries, and solid-state batteries are the ultimate goal of development. Perhaps, all solid-state batteries may not be fully commercialized until 10 years later, or even further. In this context, semi-solid batteries can be mass-produced at a relatively low cost because they are compatible with the process equipment and materials of existing liquid batteries, and have become the direction pursued by battery manufacturers at this stage. However, semi-solid batteries are not perfect, and are slightly inferior to all solid batteries in terms of energy density and safety. In the future, with the advancement of the industrialization of all solid-state batteries, the battery industry will usher in a real moment of reshuffle. During this period, whoever takes the lead in realizing the industrialization of all solid-state batteries will be qualified to sit firmly in the first echelon. At last, I just want to say, behind every automobile powerhouse there are a group of parts suppliers who have mastered the core technology. The reason why China's new energy automobile industry can lead the world is that a large number of parts or vehicle companies that have mastered key core technologies such as CATL and BYD have been cultivated in the industrial chain. Okay, that's all for today. Please put your comments below, and share your insightful ideas with other people. Do you want to learn about more auto stories? Please keep following our channel and like our videos. See you.